Hey everyone, today you're gonna see something very unique, a unique way to plan your funnels uh, in WordPress. That's right, WB Funnels now brings you a completely visualized approach to plan your funnels. Here, you can add as many steps as you want, create uh, conditional journeys based on user actions in your funnels, and then configure the whole funnel from this visual canvas, okay? And today, you're gonna get an overview of how you can use this canvas to your advantage when planning this funnel and ensuring that there is no confusion and your funnel is completely efficient. As you can see, I'm on my funnel dashboard. I haven't created any funnel yet. Now, what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna show you how you can start creating a funnel from scratch. And from there, I'll be explaining different options you have in the funnel planning canvas. So to start creating funnel, you click on create your first funnel. And here you can choose templates or you can start from scratch. So let me start from scratch and just name it, uh, my funnel one okay now here you have the option to choose different formats you know this will be empty funnel steps but rather i'll just start completely from blank so i'll click on create funnel without selecting one of these layouts and this is going to take me into this blank funnel canvas so here you can see there are several options first on the top you can rename this uh if you want to second on the top you also see you have this options called stats enable global funnel there's the preview option a save button and more settings on the top corner we'll learn about these things a bit later but first let's go through the basics as you can see you can add a step by clicking on this button when you don't have any steps on this canvas so click on plus and here you can import a template or start from scratch on the left side you can choose what step you want to import so i want to start with the landing page and let me just import this template and there you go this has been imported and placed in the funnel canvas okay now once a step is added if there is no more step after it you can add more step by clicking on the plus icon again so let me just click on this and here you can see that i can choose what steps to add this will only allow me to add steps that are permissible after the previous step so after the landing you can only add a checkout step a thank you step or a custom step so let me just add a checkout step uh, let me just import this template and there you go the checkout step has been added after that you can add more steps so let me just add one more step let's say i'm going to add a thank you step to make it into a three-step funnel let me just import the template for that and there you go the thank you step is usually the last step of the funnel so when you add that you'll see you don't have any option to add more steps after that okay now how do you add a step in between other steps it's simple you can hover on this arrow in between and you can click on this plus icon and this will let you choose steps that are permissible between those two steps so between a checkout and add a thank you step you can either add a custom step add more upsell steps or add a downsell step so let me just include an, an upsell step after the checkout so let me just import the template and there you go you can see a step has been added in between I can add more you see I, I can hover on this arrow again and I can import another step all right so I will just choose upsell again and I'll just import this and there you go you can see that the step has been added now here if I don't want to keep a step I can remove it by hovering on it and then clicking on the cross icon on the top right corner this will let me choose that if I want to replace this one with another step or do I just want to connect it in between if I choose this one then this will leave a placeholder for me to add another step or if I choose connect to previous step then this will just be connected directly okay so that's how simple it is to add steps and remove steps on the funnel canvas and what I mean by steps is the funnel journey and right now this is in a complete journey after the landing page someone will go to the checkout page from there they'll get an upsell offer and after that they'll go to the thank you page uh, for confirmation right now on this canvas for each step you'll see some settings you can see just below the landing step you have this icons right there same goes for the checkout you have some icons for the thank you you have some icons for all the steps that you add on the canvas they have their individual icons to configure them so let me go over them for landing you have a icon called settings if you click on this this will open up this drawer where you can customize its title and the url and you can also add custom script over here usually people add tracking scripts over here okay now let me go back to the canvas here you can see you have the option to edit if you click on this it will open up 
this page in the edit mode uh, of your preferred page builder. If you click on the preview icon, this is going to get you a preview of this page in front end. You know, the view that people are going to get uh, when they visit this page. This one is an A-B testing option. If you click on this, this will let you set up A-B testing for the steps. I'll give you a glimpse of this uh, near the end of the video. Then comes this one, which is the conditional steps. So you can set up condition to, you know, create multiple journeys after this step based on the action people take in this page, right? So for example, if you have an opt-in form, maybe you want that when someone opts in, they'll go to one journey. If they don't opt in, they'll go to a different journey. You can do that by going to conditional steps, okay? I'll also give you a glimpse of that near the end of the video. For checkout, however, if you see, it doesn't show a, a gear icon, rather it's a card icon. If you click on that, it'll open this settings drawer for the checkout. Here on top, if you click on general, you'll have the option to change the title, the URL of this page and add custom script. So basically this is an accordion. I can click on this and you know, put them back or I can expand this again by clicking on it. It's as simple as that. And then you can see that there is a different option than what you saw in the landing. You have the option to assign the product for the checkout page. So this is where you assign what product you want to offer as the main offer of this funnel. So you click on add product, you'll see a pop-up and here you search for your product. So let's say I'll choose a book that I have in this store. So think fast and slow. So I'll just add that and this is added as the offer. So whenever someone comes to the landing, they accept the offer and goes to the checkout page, this is the product they're going to see added as the checkout product. So that's the settings of the uh, checkout page. Here you have other options such as applying discounts, using coupons, enabling quantity selector, uh, disable payment gateways, then you can assign order bumps. I have a separate video for that. I'll link it in the description. Then you can edit the checkout fields from the edit fields option. So you have all those options in this settings drawer. Okay, now let's go back to the canvas. So besides that, the rest of the option is pretty much similar to what you saw in landing. You have an option to edit this page in your page builder. You have an option to preview this page. You have an option to set up A-B testing for this page. And you can set up conditional journey after this step based on the user actions in this page. Okay, next we have the upsell step. Here, uh, if I click on this icon, this is gonna open the settings drawer and here, I can add a product the same way I added in the checkout. So let's say I'm going to choose another book. There you go. So I have a bundle of books over here and that's what I added as an upsell. So whenever someone comes to the upsell and accept the offer, this is the product they'll be accepting. Okay. And then you can see that you have the option to assign some discounts to the upsell. And uh, below that you have some additional options where you can enable replace. But in this case, you have some settings to configure. We have separate videos to show you how you can use replace options. What this means is that when someone accepts the upsell, this will replace the main product that they initially accepted. So once this is configured, this means that your upsell is ready. If I go back to the canvas for the upsell, again, you get the same other options. The option to edit this with your page editor, option to preview this, option to set up A-B testing and option to create a conditional journey. A downsell step works exactly the same way same as upsell okay just that you offer it in a right specific situation you can still offer a downsell instead of an upsell in this funnel if you want to but we added that as a separate step to make the planning more clear to you okay i'll show you that in a bit for the thank you you don't have any conditional icon here everything else is pretty much the same you have a settings icon similar to the landing if you click on this you get a general at the top where you can change the title and the url and below that you can have some settings control for the thank you so we have a widget or a block where we show the order details in the thank you page you can customize what to show in that widget from here or you can customize it in the page builder uh, of yours that's totally up to you here you also have the option to set up redirections from the thank you page either you can have someone come to the thank you page and then redirect to another page after a few seconds or you can just you know make this as a non-existent page a person is not going to come to the thank you page at all and is going to directly redirect to the other page. You can do that using this option. So that's what you get in the thank you page settings. And then you have the option to edit this page, preview this page, and then set up A-B testing. There is no option to set up conditional steps after thank you because this is the last step. What are the journey they're going to go to, right? So that's basically it on the canvas. You get all these options for these steps, okay? Now, if you want to set up A-B testing for any of this step, simply click on the A-B testing icon 
and it will open up a new window for A-B testing. Here you can create different variants. Uh, you can set up traffic distribution. You can see the stats of your A-B testing. So I have a complete separate video explaining how to use the A-B testing effectively for your funnels. And uh, I'll be linking that in the description of this video. Okay, so let me go back to the canvas. Other than that, as I told you, I'm going to show you the conditional journey. So if you click on the condition icon for one of these steps, so let's say this one, you'll get something like this where you get to set up conditions. So if I enable this, you can see at the background, a separate journey has been created in both ends. So let's say I want to set a condition that if someone uh, has a card total that's, let's say, greater than uh, $500, okay, then he'll go to the journey where the condition is met. So in that case, where he'll end up, he'll end up in the upsell step. If the condition is false, I want him to go to a second journey, which is the false journey. And there, I don't have any steps added. So I'll just create a new step and I'll offer them a downsell. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. And this has been created. If I save this and go back to the canvas, you can see that now after the checkout, there are two journeys created. So this journey is going to be followed if a person has a cost total of over $500. If not, they're going to go to the second journey below. All right. So that's how you use the conditional journey. You can use conditional journey for every step except the thank you, depending on user actions in the funnel, uh, you know, based on that, if the condition is met. So that's just about it with the condition. OK, so you'll find different condition options for different steps, but we will also have a separate video for that. I'll include that in the description. Now, here you can see on the top, you have this preview icon. If you click on this, this is going to give you a preview of your funnel in front end, right? So since this one has the first step as landing, if I click on preview, this is going to take me to the landing page of the funnel, just like this, right? So let me go back and let's do one thing. Let's open this URL in a new incognito window. There you go. So I have come to this page and I have, you know, let's say I like this offer. I'll just click on purchase and this is going to take me to the checkout. All right. And if I cross this out now, what I did, I visited the landing page and then I accepted it and I went to the checkout page. Right. So let me enable stats and you can see that this is giving me a quick stats of the steps. I can see that I had one visit on the landing page and I converted once. I went to the checkout page, but it did not convert. And as such, since this did not convert, obviously nobody went to the other steps of the funnel. So I can see a quick stats overview over here. OK, the other option, global funnel, this is basically used when you use our add on global funnels add on to create WooCommerce funnels or funnels for your WooCommerce store. I have a separate playlist for this. I'm going to link that in the description in the video. OK, so do check that out. When you enable this, this funnel becomes a global funnel for your WooCommerce store. OK, so if you're running a WooCommerce store, you'll definitely like it because in that funnel, you can set up conditions based on which people enter this funnel. And then in the funnel, you can make dynamic upsell offers, OK, based on what they've selected before. So you have a lot of control in this and the funnel is very personalized. So do check out that playlist. Now let us look at other options we have in this funnel. Click on the three dots on the top right corner. And first you have the webhooks option. In case you want to send out data to a tool that is not supported in WP Funnels, you're going to have to use the webhooks option. Let me click on this and this is going to bring up this page. You can create a webhook, you know, and then define your webhook events uh, based on which you want to send out this webhook uh, and, you know, configure this whole thing to wherever you're sending this data out to. OK, I'll have a separate video showing you how webhook works. Now, let me go to the three dots. You have other things such as the analytics. If I click on this, this will give me a complete analytics of the performance of this whole funnel. OK, uh, again, in the three dots, you have integrations. So in case you have the integrations add on in, and you want to configure integrations uh, to send out data from your funnels to uh, an external tool, you can click on this and set up your integrations based on user events. Uh, you can mark this tool, uh, funnel into draft by choosing draft. You can delete this funnel, you know, move it to trash. And you have some additional settings here. If you go there, you have the option to, you know, choose UTM. You can disable tracking for uh, Facebook Pixel or Google Tag Manager in case you have that connected. And uh, you can also uh, skip upsell or downsell offers for recurring buyers uh, in case you want that. Okay, someone who has purchased one product already, 
you don't want to offer the same product as upsell downsell for them you can enable this option this is pretty handy okay so that's just about it with the visual canvas now there's one last extra feature that you should know about the visual canvas is when you also have mailmin pro so when you have wb funnels pro and mailmin pro together then you get some additional option over here let me show you okay so you can see that below every step there is this thing called ad automation so when you have wb funnels pro and mailmin pro together in the store what you can do is you can set up email automation workflows uh, for each and every step based on user actions in your funnels so when you click on this ad automation this will take you into a visual email automation workflow builder here you can choose triggers based on user actions in the funnel such as you know if they accept the order bump or not and then set up automation workflows to send out email uh, you know assign them specific tags so whenever they're you know taking these actions they'll be added to mailment and you'll be assigning them to specific tags that you have created in mailment all right and once you're happy with this workflow if you go back you can see that it says that automation is running so this is another thing you get in the canvas all right so that's it that's the whole overview of the visual funnel planning canvas i'm sure you're going to love using this visualized approach in building your funnels because this makes things so much clear and so much easy in building funnels that are more efficient okay so thanks for watching this video i'll see you in one of my future videos take care